Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, August 24th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I focus by nurturing my physical body. And today, <laughs> physical body is going to be your friend in moving through this energy. We've got a lot of stuff going on. We begin the day with a connection between Mars and Saturn. So we really looked at this energy yesterday as we were really building into this yesterday. And this happens early in the morning so that, I don't know, um, there's any clash. Although conjunct energies is meant to help, but in this, if there's any clashing, a lot of it probably came up yesterday. And now you can really utilize this energy rather than fighting any of the resistance that came along with it. But if we want to get into that resistance or any of that energy, Mars wants to take the lead. Mars wants to go. And Saturn is an opposing force because Saturn is like, we've got to do this right. We've got to take all the steps. We've got to make sure that we've got good structure, that we've got good foundation. We have to cross all our T's, dot, dot all our I's. So Mars is like, forget the T's. I don't even care. Let's just take that out of the alphabet. We don't need that. And Saturn's like, we need the T. <laughs> Um, so make sure you're working with this energy. Don't bypass any of those steps. This is at nine degrees. So Mars energy is like rip, roaring, ready to go. But it's really important to bring the T's along with you. <laughs> um, along with this energy that I think is really helpful is we actually have a grand trine in Earth happening. Again, early in the morning before the moon is actually going to shift into Gemini later. But that energy is calling us to ground in get centered in ourself, and all of that energy that we have in Virgo right now is echoing that message. Ground in, get centered within yourself, get centered with the earth under your feet, earth under your butt. Feel that support, feel that grounded energy, because that's going to be necessary in making sure that this is a foundation, this is a structure that's going to hold up, that's going to last. And that's why we're getting into our body and letting our physical body guide us through this energy. And that when I was talking about the body, um, the song Try a Little Tenderness popped into my head. Nurture yourself. The sun's going to be at two degrees today. That's that degree of nurturing. Nurture your body and let your body take the lead in this. So we then have the moon, before it shifts into Gemini, connecting, grand trying to Venus, connecting to Jupiter, and connecting to Mercury, all in Virgo, all enhancing the energy of the body. And that moon in Taurus, moon in Taurus, while it wants it, us to be productive, it also wants to make sure that our basic physical, earthly needs are met. Drink the water that you need, eat the food that you need, so that you can show up in and for this energy. So then we're building into a grand mutable cross over the next few days. We have the moon shifting into Gemini. So Gemini is that only mutable sign that has not been being represented. And here it comes, comes on in to add another element into the mental games that are coming up with these mutable energies that are kind of crossing, squaring, opposing each other. Um, so moon into Gemini, enhancing that mental energy. This is where our focus comes into play. Are you focusing on what the monkey mind wants you to focus on? Or are you focusing on the task at hand? Are you focusing on this foundation that you're building with this Mars-Saturn energy? And are you focusing on allowing in the insight from the universe? That's another thing that's really coming through really strong in this is that the universe has additional information for us that it wants to give us and offer us. So we've got to let ourselves get quiet, get centered and grounded so the universe can filter in some of the messages that it has for us. I have the silence card here, the silence tuning in. And this card in traditional astrology, this is not actually the moon card. This is actually the star card, which is the card of a bright future. It's the card of success. But you've got to get quiet quiet and still to let that energy come in. And that might be one of those hard things because that Neptune energy is squaring the Mars and the Saturn, the Mars energy that wants to move. And it's opposing that energy in Virgo. And it's going to be squaring that, that lunar um, Gemini mental monkey energy. But you can get quiet. There's going to be some of those tips for your success in there. 
We also have so much going on. Venus opposite Chiron today. So Venus in Virgo taking us into our physical. Chiron retrograde in, in Pisces, which is taking us into some of that past wounding. And this could bring up past wounding from relationships, whether this life or another life. So if this stuff comes up, if you're feeling any of that wounding, if you're feeling any of that less than energy, um, this is an opportunity, again, to be present, nurture yourself, and process through it. This is at 23 degrees, so it's a mental degree. So anything that's coming up is meant for you to process it and give it light. Bring it the wisdom and the consciousness that you have been growing and building within yourself. Uh, let's see. I think that's all I'm going to get into with all of this astro because it's so much. But I do want to show you my cards. So like I said, the flowering card, it wasn't reversed, I just picked it up reversed. The experiencing card, the understanding card. Be present with yourself, be present with your emotions. Experience what's coming up. But first, first thing in the morning, get grounded. Tune in so that you can be present with this process and present for the messages that are wanting to come in. Because I've got it on a few levels, I've got it from the angels as well. Angel Gabriel, inspiration. Messages are coming through for you. And so you've got to be present. <laughs> got to meditate. You've got to get quiet to let the inspiration, to let the messages come through. Because this is, this astro, it's, it's tough. <laughs> I mean, there's some hard things in this. But it's taking us up, again, to another level. It's taking us into this eclipse energy, which is going to be intense. But it keeps reminding us to focus here. Focus in and let this inner focus take you forward. So that's it for today. I have my reading sale going on, Eclipse Readings. If you want to dive into how that energy is affecting your chart, it's 20 minutes for $25. You can get that at GaiaBlooming.com. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.